Welcome to another week of The Achievers. I'm Tamara McHale. Now, last week we started our interview with Kimroy Bailey, CEO of the Kimroy Bailey Foundation and a renewable energy consultant who's making major waves in his career field. This week we find out more about his journey. Kimroy, a pleasure to have you on the program. Thank you so much for having me. Kim Roy Bailey passionately shared last week of his sojourn into becoming a renewable energy consultant and starting his own foundation. In recent times, Kim Roy, who holds a bachelor degree in electrical engineering from the University of Technology, created a tropical storm robotic wind turbine that won second place in Washington, USA, outperforming several competitors from other countries. So what are his plans for this machinery? So the main purpose of the wind turbine uh, is to ensure that we can safely maintain production, electricity generation in a tropical storm. With Jamaica, the Caribbean by extension, we have 18 tropical storms annually. We really have to face this beast and it's been one of the biggest deterrent in the development of wind technology. So let's say if we can here in Jamaica go ahead and be strategic about it. We're talking about 100% renewable. We don't want to be importing all the wind turbines and solar panels that we need. So partnering with the University of Technology while I was doing my final year project with them, they said, okay, go ahead, explore the options. We'll fund it. We'll get you the ideas, build you the prototype, and get this thing to work. And then from there, the research was invited to Washington, Seattle, Washington, for the global research competition, which was really successful, and hence the success story of that. So it's, it's about building our own capacity as a nation so we can manufacture these things here locally. The plan for that from here is to continue the research. So we did the prototype successful prototype. We want to evolve from there to a commercial platform, not only a commercial platform, but residents are our targets. We don't want to be above their head. So we want to know the average farmer, the average person working at a bank, whomever it is, can purchase this, access it, understand it, and have it at their home. That's the aim of it. So we are continuing our research on that with Dr. Dave, as I mentioned earlier, and we are looking to take this to the next level, so to speak, have a factory full scale, and then deploy from there. Kim Roy not only is contributing to nation building on national and international levels, but through his foundation has taken the time to give back to his community in Trelawney, where he's leading a major renewable energy initiative. That, however, has not been without its share of challenges. For the foundation, I would say funding. Our very first project, taking the basic school and a community center and a Baptist church in the cockpit off the grid, is costing us about $3.8 million. And with that, it's more than just wind turbines and solar panels. A number of the farmers in the cockpit where a lot of Jamaica's yam come from, they cut down the forestry to make yam stick. And to them, it's a trade-off because they are providing a food which we are very grateful for. But we want this to be a medium to reach out to them, show them more sustainable ways of going about doing what they do, economic and environmentally friendly, more sustainable models, etc. So from this location, uh, we would go ahead then and educate these persons in the community. The average youth would not know how a wind turbine looks in the cockpit country. So we want to get them understanding this technology and taking it to the next level. So it's education to a whole new dimension because you're seeing what we are talking about. He regularly shares at expos, schools and various events in the corporate and rural areas. In recent times, Kim Roy received the Prime Minister Youth Award for International Achievement for the numerous international work and recognition he has garnered, including third for his offshore wind turbine research in Nashville, USA, 2011, third in the Institute of Electrical and Electronics Engineering International Robotics Competition in Florida, 2012, second in Washington for his wind turbine in 2012, and a host of others. How does he feel to be so accomplished? in his field. To God be the glory because none of which I have done has ever been due to my strength or my accolades or my ability to just excel. I think God really has inspired me to do what I do and to be passionate about it. So even though the income might not be where you want it to be currently, you're still fully motivated. You look forward to every single day, every Facebook post, every tweet, the inbox. It, it's heartwarming when someone in grade nine send you a message saying, okay, I came across your blog. I came 
came across your website and it just empowered me to know I can be great, I can make a robot, I can be Jamaican and I can just excel in a whole different arena. Persons thought that fame and all that was associated with entertainment and dance hall and track and field. Kudos to them, but you can be smart at who you are, you can be academically inclined and get all that and more. So who inspires this bright young man? My dad, he's a very big, very, very big motivator. I remember one day we were on the farm. He, he's a yam and a cattle farmer. And we were there in the sun and he was like, whoa, I wish we could have robots doing this for us. <laughs> and I'm not sure if he understand the impact of what he said. But ever since then, I was like, whoa. A robot, dig it up. I'm, I'm not there yet, but that's what got me into robotics to begin with. And, and he always, he's an early person. He would get up at 4 45, 5 o'clock in the mornings. And he's a farmer. It's remarkable the impact he has had on my life. It's very heartwarming. And I want to just tell Daddy, I love you. <laughs> Seriously, he has been a big impact on who I have become. His words of wisdom to aspiring achievers is I would definitely say, KB, keep believing. Believe in what you fight for and fight for what you believe in. And anything you set your mind to, any single thing, you can achieve it. You are Jamaican, you are great, and you can do it. Profound words of inspiration, no doubt, coming from Kimroy Bailey, CEO of the Kimroy Bailey Foundation and renewable energy consultant making major waves in his field. We look for greater strides from this young man. For the Achievers, I'm Tamara McHale.